Hi, welcome to Bright Hope Creations. I'm Kira, and today, get on your hazmat suits. We're working with glitter. <laughs> and so we're using Unicorn Picnic and Coordinating Lawn Cuts, All the Clouds, Offset Sayings Birthday, Smooth Sailing, Harold's ABCs, Cloudy Stencil, Large Slimline with Sliders, and Stitched Rainbow in Sparkle Cardstock from both the Spring Pack and also Pixie Dust. I'm going to begin by ink blending on my panel, and this panel was cut with the largest of the Slimline Stitched Rectangles. And I'm starting out with some carved pumpkin on the bottom there. And then I'm using the cloudy stencil to bring that up. Now, when I use the stencil for clouds, sometimes I'll start at the top and go down. And this time I'm starting at the bottom because I wasn't sure how far up I wanted those clouds. I thought I might want uh, white at the top. So that's why I did that. Now on to the... Uh, I went to ripe persimmon and now on to picked raspberry. And I'll just do that a couple of times. I have that wilted violet out there too, but I decided that this was enough with just that picked raspberry there. I didn't want the background to overtake the, the things going on in the front. So now I've die cut from all the clouds coordinating lawn cuts, these different clouds and I want to put the saying, the sentiment, on the clouds. I'm clipping out the word I'm from smooth sailing, putting that on the smallest cloud. And then from offset saying's birthday, I'm using the stamp that says to you. So I'm going to use some Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, ink those up and stamp them down. And now I'm going to use Harold's ABCs to spell out the word drawn. I like to line up the letters by putting the first letter down where I want it, picking it up on the door of the Misty, and then adding the other letters right on the door because uh, it's a flat surface to add them to. And it helps even more <laughs> when I get out my ruler and then I can butt them up to the to the ruler and make sure that they're going straight across. And the nice thing about this lawn fawn ruler is that it's about an eighth of an inch thick. So it has some, uh, like a shelf <laughs> for the letters to sit on. All right, I like where it is and I'm gonna ink it up and stamp it down. And there's the word drawn and then the word like. I did it the same way. I'll stamp out the little unicorns and the sentiment will say, I'm drawn to you like glitter, but I'm waiting to stamp out the glitter part until I know what size cloud I want to put it on. So we're going ahead with the unicorns and I'm going to color those with Copic markers. I have the glitter rainbow on top so that I can look at that for color matching. I'm using an RV 52 and 55 for this unicorn and I started by putting the RV 52 in the shadows and then adding the, the 55 over those and now I'm blending it into the body with the RV 52 and I'll use the tip to tip technique to kind of blend those two colors together a little bit better. But this is a bit pinker than I'm looking for with this unicorn. I'm kind of going with that top bow of the rainbow. And so after I get this all shaded in, I'm going to come over it with an R21 to oh, kind of put it more into the uh, color range of that first bow on the rainbow. Our little unicorn hanging on the cloud there is a BG zero two for the darker shades and a bg triple zero for the light and uh, i had a bg zero one but it dried up and i need to fix that so tip to tip really helps when i'm trying to take two shades that are far apart from each other to 
try to blend them together. Now for some green hair for this unicorn. So I'm using a YG 11 and I'll shade that with a YG 13 and a YG 17. And I'm waiting on their horns right now because I really wasn't sure what color to make those yet, but they end up being the same color as the body. So here's some purple hair for our blue unicorn and I'm using a V04 and I tried the, oh, I forgot his little ear. So I wanted to get that in there before I forgot. Now I tried the V05, but it wasn't really shading it well for me. So I got out the V09 and that worked well. I'm not putting too much detail in coloring their hair because it's all gonna be underneath glitter. So it really, uh, it'll show through, but all the little details would be lost. All right, here are those horns colored the same color as their bodies. And it's time to add the glitter. I first tested it on a tail to see how it would work. Uh, glitter and I are uh, frenemies <laughs> because, oh, well, it's glitter. <laughs> you either love it or hate it, but I kind of have uh, a love-hate relationship with it. Well, here I am. I put on some glue with my glue tube and sprinkled on the glitter and then used my bone folder to press it in. And now I'm taking my craft pick just to get it off around the uh, outside lines. And now I'm putting in a little glue to seal up that glitter because like I said, <laughs> we're frenemies. I love glitter, but I, I know it just goes everywhere. So now I'm gonna cut them out with the coordinating lawn cuts. And I like how that tail worked out. So I'm gonna keep going and putting the glue on their hair. So their manes and tails and kind of getting a thin coat of glue then I can sprinkle on the glitter. This is the the smaller Prisma glitter that Lawn Fawn has. They have a chunky glitter and then a fine glitter and that's the fine glitter. I press it in with my bone folder and I think you can see the sparkle. I'm going to lift it up and uh, move it in the light see if you can see a little bit of that now I will seal up that glitter so it doesn't get on the recipient and that's where glitter is great when it comes to like the sparkle cardstock and I wanted to contain the glitter so that it didn't get on anybody but me it's all over me right now <laughs> that's exactly where the sentiment for this card came from because if there's glitter anywhere near, it's inevitable that it will end up on my face. <laughs> uh, it has such a strong attraction, and it's the same kind of attraction that these unicorns have for one another. So I'm just finishing up on the last of this unicorn's hair and taking that craft pick to get it off of the main lines so that it's defined, sealing it up, and now I'm ready to start putting this card together. So I want to figure out where I want that slider element and I kind of got it figured out and I'll cut that out using my die cut machine. And here it is. And I'm going to keep the back part because I'll use that behind my main panel to keep the look consistent. All right, well, I decided what size cloud I wanted to put the glitter word on. It's a stitched cloud from the Stitched Rainbow Lawn Cuts. And I'm going to ink up the bottoms to kind of match the background. So again, with some Distress Ink, and this is Carved Pumpkin for the lower clouds. And I'll use Picked Raspberry for the upper clouds. I'll add glitter to these clouds just the same way that I did with the manes and tails of the unicorns, but I'm just putting it on the bottoms of the clouds. Now some clouds I die cut with the pixie dust sparkle card stock. So those will be added along with these that have the sentiment on them to enhance the glittery goodness <laughs> of this card. Now I also added glitter to the cloud that the unicorn is riding on. And I want to show you this great design from Lawn Fawn. That stitched rainbow lawn cut comes with 
a larger cut for the entire rainbow, which I cut out of white cardstock, and it makes it so easy to put those bows together without having to position them on the card. It can just all go on this and then position it as one on the card. Makes it easier for, to move things around. All right, I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that I cut into eight and a half by seven, and I'm scoring that seven in half at the three and a half inch mark. And that gives us the slimline size of three and a half by eight and a half. And that's what works well with the Lawn Fawn dies for slimline cards. I'm using my bone folder to uh, reinforce that crease and that large stitched rectangle panel fits perfectly. I'm using some 3M foam tape and I'm going to go all the way around the top part of my card and that way I'll have some space inside for the unicorn slider to move back and forth. I cut another one of the unicorns on the cloud, just the plain die cut, and I'll use that as the back of the slider, but I want to make sure that it slides well, so I'm just going to cut off the top of it, just make it a cloud, and this way I know that uh, it'll stay behind without being seen on either side of that cloud as he's moving back and forth. I put two pieces of foam together to double it up, and I wanted to make it small enough that it would fit in that slider, and it does, it moves freely. And now to put that back in there, but how am I going to get it where I want it and glue it down? Well, I decided to take a piece of uh, post-it tape and tape it to the front of my panel. So I'm lining it up in there and Make sure that I put it in right, put that piece of post-it tape on the front, and now I can put glue on that little slider backing, the background. Then I can take off the release paper on the foam tape and then put the card panel down on the top and press that down. And then I can take that tape off of the front and drop down that little insert and then I'm going to just position it with my scissors and press it down. Make sure that it's the glue is pressed to the front of the card. I'm going to make sure that that cloud still moves freely, kind of loosen it up there. And so that uh, backing was behind the cloud, then the cloud, and then the whole thing was going to tape to the front. And now I can start positioning everything onto the card. I showed this card to my 16-year-old daughter, and I said, what do you think? And she said, oh, I don't want to touch it. I said, what? Well, it's got glitter on it, Mom. I thought, oh, no, I did that to her. <laughs> I know I did, because uh, when they were little, little, I was so thrilled for preschool, because I thought, okay, I'm buying the art smock, and you go have at it, because <laughs> no glitter in my house. And I didn't mind what they did at preschool, what messes they got into, but I just wasn't that mom that was going to have a big mess in the house. Oh, bad mom. Bad. If I could do it over, I would do it differently, but I guess that's why we get grandchildren someday. So anyway, uh, yeah, I ruined my children uh, to glitter. But here we are. We're putting it all together gluing everything down, and I glued that cloud onto the rainbow first so that I could snip off the excess part there and make sure that when I glued the whole thing down, uh, it was straight up where I wanted it. And I'll also glue that unicorn straight to the cloud as well so that she's sitting pretty up there. And I'll take some foam tape and some of these pieces will be layered with foam tape and some will be glued straight to the panel. And I have the clouds positioned so they read, I am drawn to you like glitter. And that's a strong attraction. <laughs> so now I just need to put my little unicorn on the tab. So I take off the release paper from the foam tape and press him down and there he is. He's drawn to her like glitter. So, <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this card today. And 
it inspires you to maybe pull out your glitter and make something sparkly. <laughs> and forget about the mess. It's okay to wear a little sparkle too. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.